Bye. Right, so um, we can't get right up there, so um, we've got to walk the last little bit. Thanks very much, didn't know that. <laughs> hey, we, at least we didn't pay 35 for that. But that was that was literally a five minute journey. But it has saved us climbing quite a lot, I think, in it. Hopefully. Hopefully, so. Right, to the castle. What was some of those in there? Whatever, yes, yeah, okay. You don't see that every day. Get the idea what that is, a little screen and a little uh, pea corner. <laughs> uh, the, the... Look at that, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Busy day today up at the castle. So I think we've just walked into the wall part, I think, we're not in the castle itself. So this must be the old fortified part of the town. Castello Sig Jorge, I think it is. A lot of people here. Yeah, but J is definitely pronounced H. So he's Jorge. As in Jorge Lorenzo. <clears throat> right, we're inside Castle Jorge. Let's call it Jorge's Castle. It's just easier. It's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually 15 euros in each. Um, not, not the 10 as we were led to believe. So anyway. <laughs> Um, looks beautiful. The, the view of the bridge and everything from here is just absolutely mind blowing. So we'll take you over there first before we head in. Uh, just take you a spin around this little courtyard. So yeah, the view I'm talking about is right over there. Well, the view is, is, is everywhere actually. <laughs> There is the there is the bridge, like we've said before. Very much like the Golden Gate in San Francisco. That's what it reminds us of. This view is absolutely fantastic. Wow, we. Well, if you get if you if you thought Lisbon was small. Uh, now I hope you realise it isn't. Oh, it's a lovely view. I think that cruise ship might might have gone. I can't remember. Can't see it. Can't see it. I think it was over that way somewhere. So it was a bit cooler when we left uh, this morning, and now it's cleared up again. It's quite warm again, yeah, and we've like we've that. got our coats on, but uh, it will drop cooler again once the sun starts to go down. Yeah. It's cloudy though. Yes, it's, it's clear, yes. yesterday there weren't a cloud in the sky, was it? It's absolutely, it's a bit, cl it's a bit cloudy today. <laughs> Incredible. Those about to rock. Fire! <laughs> if only. 
Uh, well, it just keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it seems quieter today. <laughs> Does it? It probably is a bit quieter, actually. It the square looks quieter, quieter doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sounds quieter. I mean, even down there. Yeah. It looks quieter. There's, there's still a lot of people down there. That's the main square at the at the of the coastline, and there's also quite a big square down there where the buses are. And we're staying, I think, at the caravan, the camping grounds is the other side of that greenery. That's quite a big park that is, and we're on the other side of that. So again, we've probably said seven or eight euro for a. Um, uh, Uber ride in, Uber's really good here, so bear that in mind. So lots of, uh, it's just stunning. You're, you're not going to get that in the van. <laughs> it's a hell of a view. It is a hell of a view. Just notice as well, every roof is actually red. Whether that's a um, condition of, I mean, this is sort of the old part of town, but all the roofs are red, look. No difference in tiles whatsoever. Now you can see the ships coming in, that's a container ship coming in. A beautiful view of that bridge. The bridge there is actually the 46th longest in the world. That's a, that's a, that's a credential. Yeah, spanning the Tagus, uh, if that's the way you say it, Tagus River. It's title in English is the 25th of April Bridge. It was actually opened in August 66. But it's a, it's a very picturesque bridge. And I think the sanctuary over the other side is called Christ the King Sanctuary. You can just about see that. But there. that's the end of your history lesson. Let's go and find Franny. She's wandered off. Oh, she sat down. Any, any opportunity to sit down? <laughs> so I just learned a bit about that bridge, that was all. Yeah, one thing I didn't say was uh, that the bridge is 2.2 uh, something kilometres long as well, so farewell bridge. We came over that uh, the other day. It's getting warm, eh? Yeah. Avert your eyes. So this looks like the castle proper this way through here. Oh look at these, there's got peacocks and all sorts kicking about. So the English translation for this castle is actually St George. Interesting for us English people. Um, dates back before the 11th century. There's lots of history here. I couldn't possibly tell you all of it uh, just walking around here. But um, all I'd say is it's very impressive. It's worth the, the ride up here and it's, it's worth the admission fee as well. It's fantastic. So what you see here really is um, almost a reconstruction because a lot of the castle was destroyed during the 1755 earthquake. So a lot of this has been rebuilt um, because of that, because it was pretty much flattened by the look of it. But all the same, I'm glad they did that because it's a very impressive structure. Well, it's, it is busy here today, it's not too bad. But I can imagine in the main summer months and stuff, although I would imagine Lisbon's a, a 365 destination. Um, it's, it's not busy, too busy is it to spoil no. your time to have a look around, it's okay. But I would imagine some busier times, it'd be pretty hmm, busier. Busier, busier. Yeah, I've <laughs> Oh, it's always
is a boy from the edge. It's my legs from the edge. So just a little note, this, uh, this particular castle, uh, let's call it St George, it's easy for me, um, dates from before the 12th century. Yeah, a lot of it has been rebuilt because of the earthquake, but um, very, very impressive. I think one thing we'd say is you need to be quite able-bodied to climb around. There's lots of steps, uh, lots of shiny steps, um, and also there's lots of points where a tumble could send you to a, an untimely end. Yeah. So maybe not be careful young kids, but uh, it's definitely worth the view. Definitely worth it. So this is uh, Portuguese delicacy. Deli delicacy is for me to say. Bacalao. Bacalao. So, uh, we're going to see if we can give this a bit of a go. Are they all the same? With or without cheese? With? With. Don't drop it. Uh, uh. So 25 euros for two. <laughs> two good glasses of port though, to be fair. Yeah. And two of the codfish cans. Yeah. But you get to keep the glass. You get to keep the glass, yeah. So you get a souvenir glass. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, it's nice as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Messy. Mmm, mm, nice. Very nice. Good. Mm. It's, um, it's a messy affair. Mm. It's inside, though. Yeah, full of cheese. You can have cheese with cheese or without. That's really nice. I said, yeah, really nice. I can eat a few of those. Mm, very nice. Expensive, but hey. Any ear ones? Any ones. That is gorgeous, though. Um. It is. Very nice, isn't mm. it? The white port. Um, port, is it? Yes, it's, yes, a, it's port. a port, yeah. It is a port. And you get to keep the glasses as well, as Robbie said. It's quite nice. We take them home. Mm. If we can get them home without breaking them. I'll try and carry them all today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, that's about it for uh, Lisbon. Not quite. Uh, right. Fran says bring some sketches with you. She's got thin salt pumps oh, and these, yeah. these cobbles are <laughs> doing the business. Um, I decided to put the pumps on and not the sketches. Yeah, you went for style and not function, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and now paying the price. I can feel every bump on the road yeah every bump right so that's the end for lisbon not quite but in a in a sep in a sep some separate videos uh we may we may do the benfica stadium tour while we're here which if we do will come up in another video if we don't there'll be no video <laughs> obviously obviously <laughs> And also a separate video will be. Busy little street. Uh, do you mean a busy little street? Every street's pretty busy. Oh, you know, busy life in the middle. It's just uh, you know, some it just you. It's um if you like your food and your drink and all that sort of stuff, your wine, your port, your smells and tastes. Oh, it's the best place. Yeah. They've got everything out there. Yeah. So another little alleyway we're walking down. With cobbles. 
with cobbles. <laughs> so anyway, we, we, I'm trying to wrap this video up funny. <laughs> so yeah, there'll, there'll be another video up soon um, for the gig tomorrow, which is out near the, the river, the other side. Um, I'll, I'll tie, I'll tie. This must be the people that live here. Sorry. She just yeah, put to be in. honest. Um, yes, we've seen a few of these, haven't we? Yeah, but you see these pictures of residents or maybe past yeah, residents. Look all down here. They're all, all down here, look. So they, they, I would say they're past residents looking at the age of some of the, not the photos, because they're not, they're printed on like a, a board of some description. Yeah. 2009, not 2009, so. I must have 2016 years or 2009. So yeah, we've seen a few, 2014. Perhaps it is the residents that actually live here, which is pretty cool if that's what it is. Yeah. Well, before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> there's just so much to see. There's just so, yeah. Every corner. Every corner you can, you, you bump into something. It's a really cool place. Right, let's finish what I was saying. And that is, bully for my Valentine tomorrow, out at the Al Altois, I think it is, or something like that stadium. Um, arena, not stadium, which uh, will be a separate video because there's no way I can take it to this. So that will be that will be coming up at some point when I get round to editing that. More stairs, more, stairs, more cobbles. Um, but for this one, if you fancy a city break, do it's not do not overlook Lisbon. Do not overlook it. It is fantastic. It's cost us a few pennies. Yes, yeah, so it's a place we come to. It's cost us a few pennies because we've decided. We sort of decided to do as much as we can without being stupid. Um, which doesn't work very often work. But uh, Allah, that crab last night for 48 euros. Um, but it was, I mean, where do you, where, do you know, it's one of them. But um, yeah, don't overlook Lisbon. Uh, get yourself on a plane, come and have four days here. Four full days would get you, you'd be busy. So much to see. Uh, Bring about 250 quid a day for two of you. If you want to go, like in the cathedral, if you want to go up to the castle, if you want to go on the little tuk-tuks, if you want a, um, a city tour and all that sort of thing. A city tour on a tuk-tuk, by the way, is about 45 euros, was it? Oh, that's about a two hour tour as well, yeah, that was. Yeah. So. You, you can bargain with them, to be fair. Well, you can. Don't, don't, take, don't the take the first price. And, um, we did, we did, we. and be careful. Be careful of the uh, tourist tax. There's a typical example up there was a little shop um, selling water for two euros a bottle, and there was a little store Inside outside the, the castle for 120 a bottle, and it was a bigger bottle. So watch out that you can spend a lot of money, and, and, and you do, if you want to do some of the tastes and some of the things. So anyway, wrap this up. Hope you enjoyed that video. We certainly have enjoyed Lisbon. Yeah. Good, really good. And uh, we'll catch up with you, with, with you in the next one, shall we? We shall. We shall. Right, time to go. See you later, guys. See you later. Press the buttons and all that sort of stuff and subscribe. subscribe and we'll catch you soon.